in this quick tutorial, we're going to go ahead and show how to panelize non-rectangular PCBs. Uh, in most cases, CAF 3000 is optimized to handle rectangular and standard square shaped boards. However, you may be merging several prototypes and they may be of uh, awkward shapes uh, or sizes. So we kind of have instructions here how to group them together, create a sub panel, and then allow CAF 3000's panel wizard to go ahead and optimize your panel from there. So the first thing you'll notice here is I have two separate prototypes, or in FAT3000 we call them jobs. So here's job one, and here's job two. These are obviously just very simple demos, but it kind of gives you the idea of the shapes. It's basically just a top side and a, and a border. So what I'll do here, the first thing I need to do is just create a sub job. And I'll just name this anything like sub job my demo. Okay, so I've just created a brand new job. There's nothing in there. The nice thing about FAT3000 is that it supports hierarchy, which means you can insert jobs into other jobs and keep making a very complex array of uh, an entire layout by simply just inserting information from other jobs. And you'll see here. So what I'll do is I'll just insert the uh, awkward shape boards first. So I'll go to the job, insert. You'll see here I can select the different jobs. I'll select this one first. And I'll place this one here. I'd like to also be able to, because the whole goal here is to be able to place this into a standard, somewhat rectangular job so I can then use it to panelize across uh, my entire panel. And so I'll go ahead and add another job, insert it. I'll set the rotation to 180 degrees. And then I'll go ahead and place this one in here. And you can also type the information in the coordinates, which for the heck of I'll go ahead and do now instead of using the mouse to place. So I enter 5, 5, and it perfectly places that in there. And then we go ahead now and enter the other prototype. So I'll go to Job, Insert, and here's a simple uh, prototype here, and I just simply insert that. Great. So what I've done now is I've created my sub panel. So now what I can do is this sub panel is what I'm going to use to panelize across the uh, in my panel using the panel wizard. So let me go ahead and go to the create a new panel. And now I'm ready for my panel wizard. I'm going to use the fixed panel option here. And the first thing I can do is go ahead and unclick these previous two jobs because I'll only be panelizing my sub panel that I created. Minimum count is one. Surplus can be any number. Fab 2000 will go ahead and fill in that entire panel with these jobs. You'll see here, there's a bunch of options you can use, like adding scoring lines, fiducials, tooling holes, everything else is automatically placed on there for you. Press next, and you'll see here, because it's a pretty simple geometry, there's not much. This is how my panel is going to look. Press finish, and there you go. I've created an optimized panel. So from here, I can just simply export Gerbers, and we're good from there. But what separates FAB3000 from other CAM tools is that FAB3000, again, incorporates hierarchy. So this means that I like the panel here, but I realize uh, in future that maybe I need to have a different design or, or there's uh, some changes made to the board. Typically with other software, I've got to start from scratch and redo this whole process over again. Not with FAB3000. All I need to do is go back to the original job. And let's just say, for instance, a new revision came in and it had uh, additional metal areas here. And I'm just, again, for demo purposes, just drawing some data here, basically just for visual reference. All right, and now if you say I go back to my panel, you'll see that the data has already been reflected on my panel. So this is a big time saver so that you only need to create these panels once and then you're good pretty much from there. All right, thank you very much.